Rodolfo, no matter what neuroscientists say, at the end of the day, many philosophers will point to the concept of qualia, this subjective feeling of what it's like to be a person or a bat or some, what it feels like, takes all the neuroscience and kind of puts it in a box, looks at it, mm -hmm. but says that there has to be something else whether it's a soul or a spirit or something that's impossible for human beings to understand, something else to explain this feeling of qualia. Right. So, from a, from a point of view of neuroscience, you know, what do you do with that question? Well, you may say, now, what are the requirements functionally, anatomically, to generate qualia? Can I, in some way, interfere mm -hmm. with qualia? And if I can, does it give me an idea of what, what type of category qualia belongs to? Mm -hmm. So we say it doesn't belong to any category, nonsense. Okay, so <laughs> where do we do, where do we go from here? I say, okay, well, we know that consciousness requires thalamus and cortex, the thalamus being this nucleus in the center of the brain, the cortex being the points of connectivity between this central nucleus and the external world, so it is, uh, something like an explosion on the outside, basically is an enlarged uh, wedge of the thalamus and cortex. Not only does the thalamus go to the cortex, the cortex returns to the thalamus, making uh, this sort of vortex, this sort of dynamic event that we... Electrical that, circuits. Uh, electrical that... circuits that are continuously buzzing. You know, <laughs> it's it's uh, uh, generating uh, this, this uh, continuously turning event. Okay. Now, we can say, now, is there anything we can do to interfere with qualia so that we may know something about how it works? So, so we take an animal, we take a human being. Um, if uh, we cool part of the cortex, let's say we cool the visual cortex okay. in the back, this person suddenly doesn't see, oh. but he can hear, but he can you have tactile sensation, you can smell, he has taste and so on. So the question is that apparently qualia is made out of parts. <laughs> so if you're thinking of something non-physical, then it should not respond so easily to physical events. Or even, I say my students, why don't we take some local anesthetic and we put it on the surface of the cortex and you'll find that the person with local anesthetic, we haven't changed the morphology, we haven't changed it. Local anesthetic in the cortex you can't see anymore. So qualia is soluble in local anesthetic, <laughs> consciousness. So the soul is, is soluble in local anesthetic. What well, do we like a, so, The soul is like salt. You put it in water and it dissolves. Yeah, right, or something. So, yeah. so I mean, clearly, you know, we, we, need, we need to discuss my, that in more detail because as we understand what we're talking about, see, the, 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 the problem with the brain is that we don't see it working. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and the, brain doesn't have, the brain doesn't have representation of itself. Yeah. It only has a representation of the external world. Right. Right. So it doesn't know how it works. It doesn't need to know how it works in order to work well, obviously. <laughs> so, fine. So then what do we do with the question of quality? Okay, so we can do the same with any other part of the brain that is sensory. We can do similar things with the part of the brain that is motor. We can do the cortex or we can do the thalamus. If we do the thalamus, we get exactly the same response. Mm. We, we get rid of the cortex momentarily, or we put something in the thalamus that prevents that from occurring. The two are required. None of them alone can do it. Okay, so then the question is, so what is it that is happening when you are activating the system at a certain frequency? What goes on? What, what is the event? Somebody will say, it's a computational event. The system is moving, it's oscillating, information comes in, it gets divided, it goes through the where and how and color and so on and so forth. Well, that is okay. The philosopher said, well, you have an interesting machine that is capable of categorizing information very beautifully and uh, what do you do from there? And there the big question comes up, what is qualia? And as you were saying a moment ago, uh, there are two ways of, of discussing it. Uh, it is mysterious or or qualia doesn't really exist. It and is, many philosophers say that, that well, it's an illusion. <clears throat> well, um, as though illusions weren't physical events. <laughs> so uh, I, that, I find that a little, a little circular. 
because uh, uh, if it is an illusion, still illusions must live somewhere. It must be made out of atoms and so on. Otherwise, they're saying soul again. Yeah. So, or, or, or that they say that maybe maybe we feel it, but it's what's so-called an epiphenomenon. It's something that came along for the ride during evolution, but really has no no <clears throat> explanatory power, right. no force, nothing. It's it's there. We we we, we have it, but it, it really doesn't matter. It's, okay. it's an oddity of evolution. Right now, I I take a, a very different tack. We we're, we're talking about things. We're talking about points of view. A point of view is very different. The point of view is that the qualia is among the most fundamental issues of life itself. That is cellularity. Cellularity, in order to be able to put things together, so to speak, requires not just the, 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 uh, uh, the commerce with the external world. It has to have a, a uh, it has to decide what is good and what is bad, what is food and what is not food and so on. It has, if you wish, to taste. It has to have an internal representation of some properties of the external world, which must be generalizable to the whole cell. So irritability and, listen, there is something that is, we are not beginning to understand yet, which is the nature of the inside of a cell, what people call the, the plasm. Mm -hmm. In the case of the neurons, it's called neuroplasm or axoplasm, whatever. This system took almost three billion years to come to that perfection. <laughs> Making animals costs 500 million years. This is really the crux of the matter. So to me, cell itself. the cell itself is really the issue. The fact that not only does the cell respond to the external world, but it must internalize. It must make sense of the stimulation. So is something about qualia in, embedded within the cell, not I, just the connectivity I, I, between I, cells? I, I believe that there is a, 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 a little bit, if you wish, of what we call qualia. A, 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 is more component. Very different than what <clears throat> most people uh, think. I, I, fully, I fully agree. I fully most people would say that this inside of the cell just keeps the cell alive uh, and that the connectivity uh, between the, the cells but, but and the electrical see, by, impulse... By, by negating cellularity is important, you actually have to go around looking for something that is in front of your nose. Uh, you know, it, it, it is... But the same thing, I could say exactly the same thing about movement. So here's a muscle. Here's... Uh, Yes, but where is the movement occurring? And you remember that for many hundreds of years, people were worrying That's about true. the nature of movement. That's true. And then somebody came and said, oh, it's just a cell. It, every cell. <laughs> yeah, it's, 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 so you're theory. making an analogy <clears throat> that, every, that when a big muscle contracts, it's, it's every little muscle cell is contracting. It's contracting, and, and, the, and, the, and the contractile system is an intracellular device. Intracellular, yes. Which actually... And you're saying the quality of consciousness Belongs to that category. Wow. That's okay. very different. Okay, and it is absolutely essential for the cells to want to to proceed. And say, this is this is now, open. This is open for a big big discussion. <laughs> you've called quality <clears throat> in its totality a, a master organ, not some epiphenomena that just came along no, for no, the ride. Absolutely, it but is, is critical. It is it is part of a cellu of cellular type of life. Absolutely, is something that is. Is built in like the, like channels, like proteins, like that. It is the, if you wish, the essential event. Why? Because it gives unity to the cell that would always otherwise would have no unity. Point of view. So of on view. this issue of consciousness, <clears throat> where the two extremes are, some who would say you. You can't explain it in the physical world. You need a soul, a spirit, something non-physical. And others would say, it's so much in the physical world, it doesn't even exist at all. You disagree with both of them. That's right. And you say that qualia is exceedingly important, but it is only in the physical world. And, and the, 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 the core element of qualia in some rudimentary form is in every neuron That's that right. you would have. That's right. And of course, so if, how, do you put, how do you put together the image of the elephant? You need many cells, each of which gives a small bit of the, of the component. Mm, mm, mm. So the basic issue then is in singular properties of cells and superposition. Mm. The fact that they can sum. But it is not the sum that does it. It is the fact that each cell can produce something to that sum. So this is the point of view. Okay. Uh, 
Can it be tested? Of course it can be tested. All we have to do is modify the intrinsic properties of the, the inside of cells. And we know that connectivity alone cannot do it. And what happens then with consciousness? What do we say when we <clears> look <throat> at consciousness in its totality and, and qualia? What, do we, We're what saying, does it mean to us? So it means the following. We have gone from being single cell organism to being organized entities that are capable of making qualia that is large, like holding a rock requires a hand. A brain is required to make an image of reality that holds in it not only our world, but astronomy, whatever, microscopy. It is simply that, the ability to, to sum qualities of many elements into a larger qualia. But it is not, it is not the, the larger qualia. The, the, the anatomy is, is, is not something that happens only there. It's, it's, it's like force. It is what each element generates a small uh, quantum, a small uh, little unit of, of, of qualia, of course. Uh, you can imagine that a, a cell may, may, may not generate a complete quality, may generate a, sen a sensation of, uh, of um, light or something like that. Mm.